Okay, so here's an empty container, and here is one plant that I purchased, the focal point plant. Now, because it is fall, a lot of nurseries will put their annuals on sale. This is a cordyline by Draciana. These are considered annuals in most parts of the country. So you see how I slide it out of that pot, kind of rough out the roots just a little bit. It's not too root bound. And that's going to be in the center, the focal point of this container. So I only spent $5 on this focal point plant because I got it on a reduced sale at the nursery. Now I bought three of these small ornamental cabbages or kale, not the great big ones. These small ones were less than three bucks a piece. So I get them out, like the pot, slide them out. Now they're very root bound. Therefore, when something's really root bound, I tear it up like this, really rough up the roots. And again, this is not bending towards the light. This is bending towards the light. I can put these in kind of sideways so you can kind of really see them a little bit better. And by choosing just one focal point plant and then three plants to go around it, I'm buying very, very few plants here, but I'm gonna fill in with dried flowers, sedums, things that I already have in my garden. Oh, that one is really stuck. Okay, I'll put this towards the back. This pot is seen from all three sides. So there we go. I've spent less than $10 on plant material. It does look sparse, but remember, here's what I went and gathered from my garden and from the roadsides. So now I simply fill in. The taller, bigger things go towards the back. This is a lovely red sedum. And these sedums are not gonna wilt because it's fall and the air is cooler, the soil is damp, but they might just root. That's great. When the spring, when I clean this up, I'll have some new plants to add to my garden. Sometimes plants that you cut will root. And I'm noticing how the stems curve and I'm aiming them with the curve to the outer part of the container. Smaller ones go near the front. These bigger ones went towards the back. And then I just fill them with a little bit of a whimsy. And these seed pods are tall and arching. So they go towards the center of the container it's just that quick and easy, and for very little money, I have filled a fall container. Now remember, instead of a formula, maybe you want to buy a mum plant and put that in, in the center, and then fill in all around it with your dried plants. So, this is Mary Ann Bonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens, and a dirt cheap way to turn your summer containers into fall containers.